What's up everybody, it's Destroyer here, and today I thought I'd do um, a video about my Scorpion. It hasn't had a whole lot of screen time, so um, I thought I'd go over some facts. This is what's known as an Asian forest scorpion. They're found in Southeast Asia in the forests, obviously, you know, Asian forest scorpion kind of gives it away. Um, they are much like an empire scorpion. Um, but they do get a little larger, I do believe, and um, they are quite a bit more aggressive. And the way you can tell whether you've got a male or female of the species is, if you can see here, if I can do this without getting a sting here, the claws, if they're male, will be a bit bigger than this, and the tail will be a little bit larger. But as you can see here, the tail is skinny and the pinchers aren't as big this species does get to be about three and a half to approximately six inches which is uh, pretty large and impressive for a scorpion species the one that i have here is a juvenile and it's not full grown um, they're a very hardy species so they definitely uh, do get big and they do get fat um, Mr. Chubbs here is definitely never uh, skinny. Um, another thing I want to talk about is their venom. It's uh, They are not as toxic as uh, some of the other scorpion families, but uh, it is considered to be mild. Um, definitely could sting up to a few days, some burning and some irritation, and you may need medical attention if you're stung. Everybody reacts to venom a little bit differently. Also, these scorpions can be kept communally, but it is definitely not recommended because they are quite a bit more aggressive than some of the other scorpions. Um, just simply popping the top off sometimes to feed them can cause them to go into a threat posture. Um, and as far as maintaining them, you can keep them on coconut fiber like I do. Um, they just require uh, water. You want to keep the humidity up like I've done in here. You want to wet it down. Um, I have a nice little piece of uh, cork bark here um, for it to hide under. Um, more scorpions that you keep, the more hot you want to have a hide per scorpion. Um, I obviously don't keep any more. I just keep this one in a tank. Um, you can feed them crickets too. Um, like I do mine. I feed mine crickets. I doubt he's going to eat. But, uh, or she rather, I'm pretty positive this is a female due to these small pinchers and small tail, I'm pretty sure. But only time will tell, but I'm pretty, I'm about 90% positive this is a female. And also you want to keep these guys, um, usually about anywhere from about 60 to 70% humidity. This is easy to maintain, keep it in a warm room and wet down the substrate from time to time and should be easily maintained. Um, like I said, they are a pretty hardy scorpion, so they'll always be a bit fat. Um, they're also a great scorpion for first timers, um, especially if you're looking for something a bit more aggressive than an empire scorpion, which are very similar. Um, they're both black like this, um, except for the Asian forest scorpion is quite a bit more aggressive and the ribs look differently on the back here as you can see. Let me see here. The ribs right here are a little bit different. Also, they normally live um, usually about anywhere from about five to seven years. So they live a pretty long life as far as scorpions go. And as far as handling goes, it's uh, widely not recommended. Um, like I said before, these scorpions are really aggressive. Um, so I know I do know some people um, do make videos out that they do handle them, and uh, more power to you. But uh, I definitely would not handle one if I was you. Handling one could definitely result in a sting. Um, wouldn't be the end of the world, but definitely wouldn't be a pleasant experience. Um, so unless you're in a really experienced handler, I definitely would not recommend picking them up. And as far as their habitat goes, um, usually when they're smaller like this, you can keep them in a smaller enclosure. Um, I have this in a relatively small one like this. 
um, but it's going to get a lot bigger once the scorpion grows a little bit. Um, I'll go ahead and throw it in a 10 to a 20 gallon tank and give it some room to move. But uh, for right now, it's kind of small and uh, which will work. You know, it's got a little hide. It's got some water. Uh, I keep it good in humidity, keep it goodly fed. Um, so this will work for a while. Like I said, this is again, a per this is not a permanent tank. It's just temporary. And also, as far as water goes, they hold on to water for quite some time. They do need a uh, water bowl. Um, but you don't want them to drink too much because they, they, like I said, they hold on to water for a very long time. Um, so do keep that in mind. And they can also eat so much that it can kill them. Uh, now this one's a, uh, of course, his nickname or her nickname is Chubby, but uh, they can eat so much it can blow them up. So once your scorpion, once you notice your scorpion's pretty fat like this, um, I tried feeding him about or feeding her about once a week. Um, too much, you know, like I said, can kill them. So do keep that in mind if you're thinking about getting an Asian forest scorpion. Well, those are just some decent uh, kind of straight up facts about them uh, for any of you looking to get one of these. Um, like I said, they make a great first time or if you already have scorpions and you're looking for a little bit more aggressive species, um, this would also definitely uh, be the scorpion to have. Um, and again, they are a larger scorpion and more impressive ones for that matter. Um, so they're definitely um, good for visual. Like I said, do not handle these scorpions, but uh, those are just some simple facts about them. So um, I hope you found this video educational. And uh, I'm going to end this video with a shout out. And um, I'm going to change some of the criteria for my shout outs. And uh, we'll go ahead and get into that in just one moment. Now, as far as the criteria for shout outs, um, I'm going to change it a little bit. I have been given pretty much anybody who asks a shout out. Um, but from here on out, um, I'm going to go ahead and only give shout outs to active subscribers. Um, and this is my crested gecko, by the way. Some of you who watch my videos may know that. I just thought I'd give a, a close up and uh, why I talk here um, again active subscribers only so if you're you know a regular um, watching my videos uh, put giving me thumbs up and commenting I have no problem giving you a shout out but uh, if you just drop by one time and ask for a shout out I'm probably not going to give it um, and you know if you are a regular uh, subscriber like I said um, and you, you you're an active subscriber I have no problem with giving you a shout out just to try not to dm me every day about it um you know I, i've got a full-time job i'm a father um, i've got lots of animals to take care of uh, shooting videos um, so i've got a lot going on so sometimes if i tell you that i'm going to give you a shout out it may not happen the next day or anything so do keep that in mind um, and like I said, you need to be an active subscriber and please don't drive me nuts about it. I will give you a shout out, but you have to give me some time. Um, sometimes it just doesn't work with every video. Um, or sometimes, you know, if you're a real good subscriber, I'll make a video just specifically to shout you out. Um, so do keep that in mind. Um, and I'm going to do one last uh, freebie um, shout out here. And uh, this shout out will go to Tanner Fox. Um, he's a vlogger, um, a new um, YouTuber. Uh, I believe he's got about 19 subscribers. Um, so if you're into vlogs, uh, go ahead and check out his channel. Also, before I end the video here, I also want to talk about uh, another um, issue that's come up, and that's the uh, sub for sub issue. I really don't do sub for subs, um, primarily because sub for subs... They're not going to be active and if you subscribe to my channel i want you to actually like the content i want you to actually like exotic animals and want to learn about them because that's primarily what my channel is dedicated to so if you somebody just wants to sub to get you to sub back 
they're not going to be active and about 90 percent of the time they won't stay sub to you for long um, they just want you to sub to their channel so i've gotten a lot of messages in my comment section of people subbing to me um, that probably don't even like the content they just want me to sub back um, so i want to kind of want to go over that um, if you sub to me and you want me to check out your channel, I definitely will do that. Um, but that doesn't promise that I'm going to subscribe to you. Um, all I ask is for the same thing that I ask, and that's if you like the content to subscribe to the channel. And that's all I'm going to promise is that I'll check it out. And if I like what I see, then I'll subscribe to you. But um, like I said, I really don't do sub for subs, um, you know, because I don't want to be subscribed to a channel and not be active. Um, and I don't want the same either. I don't want somebody subbing to me just to get another sub. Um, I'd much rather you prefer that you like the content that I do or want to learn about exotic animals or maybe there's a particular exotic animal of mine that you like. Um, I'd much more prefer that than just subbing to me to get another sub or, you know, anything like that. So, and I'm going to end this video off with a big thanks to um, Hades the Crested Gecko here for being pretty still and being pretty good while I got the cameras and lights on him. Um, and again, like I said, the shout out will go to Tanner Fox and he's a vlogger um, relatively new. So if you like those kinds of things, check his channel out. Um, and um, I hope to see you guys in the future. Please leave me comments. I love answering questions. I love hearing from you guys. So um, any kind of comments, please leave them to me. I do read all comments and I respond to most. Um, so thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this channel if you're new. Um, always leave me comments and uh, thumbs up. Let's me know you like the uh, content. Um, so we'll see you on the next one.